Welcome. In this video, we're going to be talking about what price to resell your manufactured home at. Now, just to make sure that we're on the same page, there's a few different types of properties that we can be selling. We can be selling a manufactured home that's attached to land for all cash or bank financing. We can sell a manufactured home that's attached to land for a move-in fee and monthly payments. We can be selling a manufactured home in a community that, that's in a rented park where you're not actually owning the land. And we can sell those homes for all cash or bank financing as well. Now it's a little harder to sell those for all cash or bank financing, but we do. Uh, we can also sell manufactured homes in parks with a move-in fee and with guaranteed monthly payments. And that's how I'm gonna show you how to sell them right now. I'm gonna show you which price and the terms that we are going to be selling these homes for. Now, just for the sake of argument, let's uh, kind of all talk about the same property. Um, get a marker that works. And let's say it's a three bedroom, two bath, manufactured home. Uh, it was a 1986 year and it needs about, you know, 500 uh, give or take in repairs. All right, uh, maybe there's some holes in the, in the drywall. Those are easily fixed. Uh, need to be professionally carpets cleaned. Uh, and then maybe some junk just needs to be taken out of the home. So there's our three bedroom, two bath uh, manufactured home that we're just trying to sell for a move-in fee and then monthly payments. But we really need to know, you know, what are we gonna be selling this home for? What's the total price? Well, there's a couple different schools of thought and everyone that I've ever talked to when they're selling mobile homes in communities, they always kind of follow the school of the grandfather of, of mobile home investing and that's Lonnie Scruggs. And his techniques and his formula have made millionaires and hundredaires of a lot of people. And I highly respect all of his teachings. Um, with the manufactured homes in communities though, a lot of people are buying them, typically $2,000, $4,000, $5,000, the way that Lonnie teaches. And then he teaches to go ahead and just double that profit. I mean, if you're buying them for two, sell them for four or $6,000, and you made you know, four or $2,000, and that's good, and then move on to the next deal. See, the problem with that is though, you're leaving so many thousands of dollars on the table. Um, and here's what I mean. When we're purchasing a manufactured home, we're purchasing it from a desperate seller one that we're getting you know, a really good price for. So maybe the home's worth $12,000 and the seller initially tries to sell her home for $12,000. She puts it out on the market, in the paper, a couple weeks go by, she lowers the price to 10,000, then to eight and to seven, and maybe you call her when she's advertising it for $5,000. You then negotiate the price down to $2,000. Now you're thinking to yourself, man, if this owner is selling me this trailer for $2,000, it must be worth about $2,000. I mean, how much more could it be worth? She knows the trailer way better than I do. So what do you sell it for? Four, maybe $6,000? For a beautiful 3-2 in 1996 with only 500 repairs? Absolutely not, okay? Now over the last nine years, I've been able to calculate, you know, how to treat a buyer of a manufactured home correctly. Because what's important to a buyer with a manu that wants to purchase a manufactured home in a community uh, that can't get bank financing? They wanna know how much money to move in and how much monthly payments. And that's very important to them. So we have to do right by all of our buyers or we're not gonna sell any properties. So there's three separate things that you need to know uh, and then we can calculate the price in terms of the manufactured home that you're trying to sell. The first, the first piece of info that we need is the cash flow payments that you're going to be putting in your pocket every single month. All right. Um, or yeah, the <laughs> cash flow payments. Let's go with that. So cash flow payments. Okay. How much should you charge monthly? Big question. Well, we start off by finding what is local apartment rent within a half a mile or a mile to the subject property. So if local market rent for an apartment, not a house, but an apartment is $700 for a three bedroom, two bath, then that's where we're gonna start. So we're gonna market the home for 700, plus I always charge a premium of at least $50. Why? Because we're not renting these homes. After so many months, this home is gonna be the buyers. Okay, so you charge a premium, uh, 700 plus 50 is $750. Now you have to pay a lot rent every month because this is, is in, in a community, excuse me, I'm tongue tied, I'm talking too fast. I hope you're keeping up. Let's say lot rent is 400 bucks. So we're making 350 passive cash flow every single month. We're putting that into our pocket. So 350 equals our monthly cash flow. Now we have the first piece of the puzzle. Okay, make this a little bit 
easier to follow along. I don't have much space. Show payment equals 350. Okay. So 350 per month. Now we know what we're going to be profiting every single month. The second thing we need to know is what can we charge for a move-in fee? Now we don't find this out, and this move-in fee is just a one-time thing. We don't base the move-in fee on where the home's located. We don't base it on the age of the home. We base it on the condition when the buyer is going to be moving in and purchasing the home. So over the past nine years, like I've said, I've sold uh, many manufactured homes just the same way. And one of the biggest things I've realized is that you shouldn't be marketing to every single buyer out there. You shouldn't be marketing to only a few. You should be marketing to the ones that have money, that can pay you a move-in fee, that might want to do a little bit of repairs and can see the value in this manufactured home that you have. All right. So with that being said, uh, you can see up on your screen now that depending on the repairs needed uh, will determine what you can charge for a move-in fee. So you see a move-in fee um, with the, that the home needs no repairs whatsoever, you can get a 10% non-refundable move-in fee. Right, if the home needs up to about $500 or less in repairs, you're going to be going somewhere between 5 to 8%. Excuse me, a home that needs $2,000 or less in repairs, that's just a one month down payment. Uh, the home that needs $5,000 or less in repairs, that's gonna be a zero down payment. You're not gonna get, you shouldn't look to get anything down. The home needs too many repairs for someone to pay you money down, to pay you monthly payments, and then to fix up the home on top of that. So realistically, uh, $5,000 or less in repairs, you're not gonna get anything down. Over $7,000 or right around $7,000 or more in repairs, you probably shouldn't have bought the home, but maybe you got it for free. So what are you going to do with that? Well, you can sell, you, you can fix up that home to a level where you can sell it for a move-in fee, or you can just sell it as is and you can give the, the interested buyer, they're going to do all the sweat equity into the home, but you're going to sell it for the first three months with absolutely no payments, no move-in fees. And this is a dream come true. You're giving the American dream the chance of ownership of a manufactured home to the average civilian uh, who can't get a bank loan, who, who maybe hasn't even ever owned anything in their life, and now you're giving them the opportunity of a lifetime to purchase this manufactured home uh, for, for you know, a realistic amount down and for a realistic monthly payment that they can afford, that everyone can afford, and that they're very happy to pay because they see the value in this home. And it really is a nice home, you know, the one that we've described here. If your home isn't nice and you try to get too much and you're greedy, well, you're not going to sell the home, okay? And you shouldn't because you shouldn't try to be getting, you know, one up on any one of your buyers. These buyers are uh, your friends, you're helping them out, and really that's just what we're doing. Like I said before, uh, we're selling the American dream and your goal should be to find buyers that see this, the value in the home and stay for the full term uh, that you're selling manufactured homes for. So now we find out that um, using the um, calculation that I described to you, the home needs some holes in the, the, the home has some holes in the drywall that need to be repaired. You know, maybe you don't feel like doing that. The home needs to be vacuumed. You don't feel like doing that either. And there's some clutter in there. So we can't sell it for 10%, but we can get around 8% down. Between five to 8%, I like to go high with a move-in fee because I like to collect as much possible as down. All right, and, and it kind of screens out the people who don't have money, who don't have savings accounts. So 8% for this home. However, right now, we don't even know the price of the home. So let's keep going. Switch back to my black marker. And number three that we need to know is the length. How long are we going to be collecting payments? Remember, we know the payments now. There's uh, 750 minus 400 is 350 cash flow. All right. We know that we're going to be charging 8% down, whatever the price is. And then we're going to be finding, or now we're going to be finding the length of the payment. Now, this goes off the same info of the condition of the home. As you can see up on your screen right now, if the home is clean and only a cosmetic repairs, you can sell this home for up to 10 years worth of payments or 120 months. If the home's in fair condition, it's aged, it's been lived in, uh, there's some flooring problems, holes in the